Good morning, world. This is Tom's Radio Room Show number 79. And I'm Tom Stiles, still kicking. Well, I had a strange phenomenon this morning, so I'm trying to put a quick video together and uh, capture that. But that was too slow. By the time I got the computer on, the video working, and all of that crap, it's past. But I want to tell you about it anyway. What happened this morning that hasn't happened in about 20 years is I was receiving a transmission on my computer back there speaker. And it wasn't coming through the internet. And it wasn't probably coming through my computer. This used to happen quite often about 20 years ago when CB radio was at its height. And what used to take place is uh, some people would run a lot of power out of their CB radios using an amplifier. And it wasn't uh, quite adjusted, so therefore it was putting out spurious transmissions. Not on the band that they should be on. And what would happen sometimes is that the coils in a speaker would act as a receiver and pick up these transmissions. And like I say, about 20 years ago, this happened to me a lot because I have a neighbor about 100 yards from me that was heavy into CV and he has a big antenna and a tower and an amplifier and he used to communicate long distance. Which, at that time, and I don't follow CB radio anymore, so I don't know if this has changed, but at that time, you weren't allowed to do that. That was illegal. I don't know what the range was, but you could only communicate uh, within, like, 25 miles because the whole concept of CB radio was just for local communications. But what people would do is they would transmit using amplifiers or just using the propagation phenomenon where transmissions would bounce off the ionosphere and back down thousands of miles away. And admittedly, I used to do that too. Yes, I was a CB or DX or two. Had my handle and everything and loved to uh, get on the radio and talk to people uh, far away. But I haven't done that in ages. I don't have a CB radio anymore. At least I don't think I do. Got a lot of radios. Anyway, so what happened this morning is that phenomenon happened. And it's about the third time this week. So apparently my neighbor, 100 yards from us, is back on the air. Or conditions are just right, because it is winter, and usually those conditions occur in the winter time. I don't know the exact theory behind that. Used to know, but don't know anymore. And I'm receiving him on my speakers that are connected to that computer behind me. So I tried to capture it. Well, number one, the audio was very, very low. It was very clear, but it was very, very low. And cranking up the, the gain on the speakers doesn't help because... It's going directly into the voice coil and exciting that, and so you hear it on speakers. So it's, it's not going through any amplification. So anyway, that didn't work. So what I thought I would do is take my scanner radio. This is my Pro 97, and it has the capability of scanning its entire spectrum like within one second, searching for strong signals. So I thought, well, maybe it'll pick it up. And I can, you know, hear more what's going on and what's all about. And then capture it on a video. Well, by the time I got that set up, I got the video. I got that working. But by the time I got the video set up to record it on a video, uh, whatever the conditions were, went away. Because I couldn't hear him, and I never heard him like sign off or anything, so I think the conditions just changed. And it turns out this scanner, this Pro 97, will scan down to the Citizens Band 
Bam. So this is bam, bam. Anyway, it's down around 27 megahertz. So sure enough, when I put it in this search mode, it's called stalker mode. Uh, talk, talking about CB lingo. But anyway, that's what it's called. Um, it picked him up, and it was like 27, I don't remember. But anyway, so I was hearing him loud and clear. I mean, and you know, it's, it's you were acting like a real radio, so he was booming in. So I set that down, tried to hook up my computer and everything, and nah, it's gone. So I missed it. But I thought I'd at least uh, tell you about that phenomenon. That was kind of interesting. And... Uh, like I say, I, I used to be a CBR 20 years ago before I got my hand license, so I don't have any problem with that. It, the only problem I have is if it used to be that, like uh, the old TVs and whatever, sometimes it would come booming in and you couldn't listen to your TV program. Now that would be a problem. So anyway, I thought I'd capture that, um, do a quick show. And uh, that's it. Anyway, if uh, if this show was of any interest at all, please give me a thumbs up. That helps me know that you know people are watching and I'm presenting stuff that people are even slightly interested in. Uh, if you don't subscribe, please subscribe to my videos. I I do good videos every once in a while. Maybe this ain't the greatest one, but you know, just subscribe. Comments. I love comments. Um, I don't even mind negative comments. You know, if you want to say I'm the ugliest guy on the earth, that's okay, because I probably am. So I don't mind negative comments. If you see something about my videos, you know, like the audio's no good, whatever, let me know. That way I can try to fix things. Well, key word there, try to fix things. Anyway, thanks for watching. Bye-bye.